Today we're going to look at multiplying brackets together. So there's three different ways to do this. The first one is called smiles and eyebrows, which will become apparent very quickly why it's called smiles and eyebrows. The second is the foil method and the third the grid method. Now different people will have different preferred um, ways of doing it. I personally prefer smiles and eyebrows but that's just my personal preference. Whichever one works for you, do it basically. So we'll go through each one in turn. So firstly the um, smiles and eyebrows. So let's think um, of this expression. So we've got x plus 3, close bracket, open a new bracket, 2x plus 5. And we want to expand and simplify. So to expand means to get rid of the brackets. Whenever you see expand, you want to get rid of brackets and simplify your gathering like terms together to put it into its simplest form. Now, what does this, this mean? This x plus 3 and 2x plus 5, once you have a value for x, you're just basically is two numbers that you'd be timesing together. But we've written it in this algebraic form. So, how do we go about it? We have to take each of the terms in this bracket and multiply it with each of the terms in the next bracket. So let's go with this term x first. We take x and we are going to multiply it by 2x. It's the first time. That's the first step. So that's going to give us 2x squared. Next, we take the next term, 3, and we're going to multiply 3 by 2x squared. That's the second step. So that's going to give us 6x. The third step is to go back to our x term and this time we're going to multiply it by 5. This is our third step. So x multiplied by 5 is plus 5x. And finally we've got one more um, term to deal with. We take the 3 and multiply that by 5. This is our fourth step and that's <coughs> um, going to be 15. Now when you do it, you don't need to put 1, 2, 3, 4 over this. And as you get more confident using it, you wouldn't do the wee arrows. You'd be able to do it without all that information. But I've put it in here to make it clear what we're doing at which, po at which point. And when you're le first learning it and practicing it, if doing these arrows, so you know that this x has been multiplied by that 5 and it helps you keep track of what you've multiplied with what and so you don't forget any of the terms. So now we're going to simplify. So there's only one x squared um, expression, so that's just 2x squared. We've got two x expressions, so 6 add 5 is 11x and then the constant there, 15. This is the smiles, there's your smiles, and your eyebrows. I also like that because it sounds a bit, a bit silly. The next method is the foil method. So foil is an acronym. I should have written it down this way to make it easier to tell you what this means. So first can't spell first, that's why I teach maths and not English. First, then outs outside, I's for inside, and L's for last. So it'll be clear once I put up a example. 3x minus 1. So first means the first term in the expression. 
you're going to multiply it by the first term in the second expression. So 3, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Now outside, you've got the 2x times the minus 1. So you're taking this term and times it by the one that's outside, furthest away. So that's going to give us minus 2x. Inside, you're taking the two terms that are inside. So these are outside, these are inside. 3 times 3 is 9, so it's plus 9x. And then the last, the last two, the last two expressions in the brackets is 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Um, I just want to just draw your attention to this expression here, the 3x, 3x minus 1. When you're dealing with an expression for, with a minus term in it, it's easy to trip yourself up. It's easy to say 3 times 1 is 3, but and then forget about this little negative. You can almost think of it, so I'm going to put this in a kind of side bracket here, as being 3x plus minus 1. That way, when you're timesing 3 by the 1, is 3 times minus 1, which gives us a minus 3. Um, this is an area that you can easily slip up when you're doing a, a question, and um, just to always be aware where the negatives are, what the negative's doing, are they cancelling out, or are you going to have a negative term in your final answer? So let's simplify this. So we've got the 6x squared, and then we've got minus 2x plus 9x, which is 7x, and then you've got your minus 3. So the FOIL method, the first two um, expressions in, in the brackets, the first two parts in the bracket outside, so you're doing um, the outside ones, Inside is going to be these two, and then the last is these ones. Oh, the outside is first that one and that, then outside is this one and this one. Inside is the two inside, and the at last is the last two in the brackets. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to do another one just with the foil to make it clear. So let's do x minus 3, 2x minus 5. So let's write foil here. So let's think first expression, so that's x, 2x. So that's going to be 2x squared. The outside, so the furthest away, is x times minus 5x. Then the inside, so it's these two. Um, minus 3 times minus um, times plus 2 is minus 6x. And then the last, so the last number in this bracket and the last one in that bracket is going to be minus 3 times minus 5, which is plus 15 gathered like terms, so we'll have 2x squared minus 11x plus 15. And finally we have the grid method. So we're going to think about this expression, 4x minus 1, 2x minus we're going to again expand, get rid of the brackets, and simplify. So we're going to put the different parts into a grid. <coughs> so we're going to have, in the top one, we're going to have split the things in this bracket. So we've got the 4x, then we've got the minus 1. And then the parts of this bracket go in here, 2x minus 5. The 
beauty of this is that we can keep track of our, our minus, our negatives. So we cross multiply. So here 4x times minus 2x is 8x squared. This one 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. Minus 5 times 4x is minus 20x. And minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. Then we take everything that we have here and we put it back into an algebraic expression. So we've got 8x squared minus 2x minus 20x plus 5. And you see here that our negatives have been taken care of. They follow along quite nicely without getting lost. So we'll simplify it now. 8x squared minus 2x minus 20x is going to be minus 22x plus 5. Now, let's think of another expression that's going to have three brackets in it. So x minus 3, x plus 4, x minus 1. So we can multiply we multiply the first two brackets out first. So we're going to use the smiles and eyebrows. So we've got x squared. And with smiles and eyebrows, it doesn't matter the order in which you do it. I'll, just, so I'll do it in a different order from what we did previously. So we've done x squared. Now we're going to do x plus 4. So that's plus 4x. Then minus 3x. Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. And this is going to be put in a bracket because we've still got this expression here. X minus 1. Now um, we're going to multiply the parts of this with what's in this bracket. So we've got x cubed. And then x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. Then we're going to do 4x squared. Then we'll have minus 4x. Then on this one we're going to have minus 3x squared. Now it's minus 3x times minus 1 which is going to be plus 3x and then finally we've got minus 12x then minus 12 times minus 1 which is going to be plus 12. Now you can see here this has got quite messy so it would be easy to get um, to miss, um, miss a term to multiply um, when you've got the three brackets here. So now we're going to gather our terms to simplify them. So we've got one x cubed term. Now let's look for the x squared term. We've got one here, one here, one here. So minus 1 plus 4 is 3 minus 3. So that all they all cancel out. Then we've got the x term. So we've got four, minus 4x is a minus there plus 3 minus 12. So minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. Minus 12 is going to be minus 13x then plus 12. What What you can do with that expression, so we if we had, we'd write the, the first expression, the, the, the question out again. So 
So you can multiply, we multiply two of the brackets out like we just did. So I'm going to, this time if we were to multiply these two, I won't go through all the smiles and eyebrows, we'd get x squared plus 3x minus 4. That's all simplified out. And then we'd have, oh, I've missed out that, x minus 3. We can then take this and use the grid method. So let's put x squared plus 3x minus 4. Um, that's a terrible, terrible grid. Then you have x minus 3. Remember to keep track of your minuses. So then you'd have x cubed minus 3x squared 3x squared um, minus 4x 3 times 3 is uh, minus 9x and then plus 12 and then again gathering all the terms together we get x cubed the x squared minus 3, 3x squared minus 3x squared is going to be, they're going to cancel out, and then we're going to have um, minus 13x, the minus 9x, plus minus 4x, and then you have our plus 12 at the end. So, in this question, if we mix two methods together, so we just did our smiles and eyebrows, or your foil method, whatever one you prefer, for the two, two of the brackets, so we get this quadratic expression, and we still have this bracket to deal with. By then putting them into the grid, you see it's a lot less messy, and it's far easier to follow all the different steps than when we did it all using, say, smiles or eyebrows, or if we did it all with the FOIL method. Um, and finally, we're going to look at this expression, so 2 minus 1 and then x plus 3 squared. So let's expand the squared bracket to begin with. So we've got 3x, um, x plus 3 squared, oops, I've got the bracket, is x plus 3, x plus 3, and whatever your preferred method is, we're going to have x squared plus 3x um, plus 3x plus 9, which is x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then we'll have 2x minus 1, x squared plus 6x plus 9. And we're going to use our grid method. So let's put x squared, 6x and 9. And then we've got 2x minus 1, so 2x times x squared is going to be 2x cubed, x squared minus 1 is minus x squared, 6x times 2x is um, 12x squared, 6x times minus 1 is minus 6x, then 2x times 9 is 18x, 9 times minus 1 is minus 1. So we're going to gather the terms together, so we've got our 2x cubed, our squared terms we've got 12x squared minus x which is going to give us plus 11x squared then we've got our x terms we've got 18x minus 6x is going to be plus 12x and then our minus not oh, minus not minus see minus 9 um there see how easy it is to make a wee mistake so that's how 
again, we've combined the two different methods where the grid at the end makes it a whole lot less messy. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.